In this video we're going to be looking over this Olympus Infinity Twin 35mm film camera and my goal here is to run through quite a bit of testing that's easy to do so that you can get a sense of its function and it will be almost as good as you holding it in your hand. So I've got a pair of batteries and a scrap roll of film. None of this comes with it, but it's just here for testing purposes. So let's get started by opening the battery compartment. And that's right there. And then watching the polarity of these two batteries. We'll install those according to the little diagram. Put one there. And one in front like that. Door closes properly. Now we can open up the film door, and before we load the film, let's just look here. There's a nice rubber gasket all the way around, and that looks continuous, and it feels soft and pliable. There's some foam here around this window. That feels fine, and a little bit of foam up here. That's a softer foam, but it's not sticky, so that's good. And then over here, everything looks good in this section. So let's load our film. We can put the spool over there and add that little tail back into there and close the door. And the camera automatically advances several frames to make sure that all of the film that was possibly exposed in the loading process is out of the way and there's fresh film in place. So now when we pull the cover back it's set on picture number one. It's also indicating the flash is set on auto. I'm going to set that for fill in which will make it flash regardless of the situation because I want to demonstrate that that works. And certainly saw that flash. So now I'm going to set the flash off and I'm going to just try the self timer. There's a control, must be a remote control that I don't have here. And then there is the timer indicator there. So now if I set this here and push the shutter button, you see this little red light came on and we'll just wait for it to complete its cycle. Okay. Um, I should point out this particular model does not have a continuous uh, zoom. It, it only has two positions. There's a tele and a wide. And if I push this we hear some mechanical things happening. And here especially in the viewfinder we see that. And I'll show what it does in the back too later on when we have it empty. So now we're on picture number three. I need to just use up the rest of the frames in this short little roll. Okay, it reached the end. So now the camera will automatically start rewinding. Here we see the numbers going back. And it's to one and beyond. I just heard it break free of the take up spool. So now it's indicating it's ready for us to open up the back and unload the film. Okay, and now here was what I wanted to show you. Here is with it in the uh, in one of these positions. I think this would be the the wide angle. There's actually a little mirror that we see here, and I don't know exactly how that works, or is that a window? Maybe it's a. I don't know, but anyway. If you close it and you toggle that, and then open it again, now it looks different. So that is uh, what I wanted to show with that. So the cover slides nicely. Uh, the doors open well. Um, it has a little bit of scuffing, but nothing that I'd call abuse. It's just signs of use. And the strap is an Olympus nice strap. 